Hi everyone, this is Carla and welcome to my channel. Last video we made together, I showed you how to make this little journal. And today we're going to make the shaker dashboard that will fit inside of the journal. So when I give you measurements, uh, keep in mind that they will be measurements for this journal that was in my previous video. And it measures five and a half inches by six inches and it has an inch and a quarter spine. So the materials and tools that you'll be needing, I have two cello bags that I had in my stash and these measure four and a quarter by seven and a half and we'll be trimming those down. Uh, then you're going to need two 12 by 12 sheets of either paper or if you have double-sided cardstock, you'll only need one sheet. This is to put into the cello pouches we're going to make. You'll also need some coordinating paper or you could use the same. I'm gonna use a coordinating paper to go uh, beside the paper we're going to be putting in the, the cello pack. And uh, these measure six inches by a half inch and you will need four of these if you're using single-sided paper, but if you're using double-sided paper, you'll only need two of these. You also need a laminating pouch, which measures nine by 11 and a quarter. You'll need some ephemera or stickers to decorate the paper that you're going to put inside the cello packs. I've got these from Hobby Lobby and I use these in my journal as well. Some are stickability, some are just stickers. Um, you're gonna need regular tape. You're gonna need some washi that kind of goes with what you're doing, something pretty. Going to need your sequins or glitter, whatever you're putting in your pouch. You'll need to have some of that on hand. Now for the tools we'll be using, let's see, let's get some of this out of the way. You're going to need a corner rounder. You're going to need a laminator a paper trimmer and that's it okay so to get started going to take your cello bags and I already trim mine down you're going to cut those down so they measure six by three and one fourth and you want to trim off the end that has this self-healing, or sealing rather, the self-sealing edge on it. You want to trim this edge off. Also, if you're using the single-sided paper, you're going to need two and we said these would also be cut at six by three and one fourth. And we're gonna glue these together. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use my ATG gun. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm going to very carefully stick these together. These will be laminated in so you don't have to worry about the sequence sticking to this. Well, unless maybe you got it over the edge and it didn't laminate, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Okay, now let's look at these. We want them to be the same. So we're gonna take this one and place it right here at the edge. Seal that down. Let's see. Okay, there's a little white edge, and we can trim that off if we want to, but I don't think that'll be an issue. Okay, we're gonna take the other two, do the same. Okay, 
Oh, it's a beautiful day here in the Ozogs. It's a little bit of a breeze going through. It's in the high 80s, but the humidity doesn't seem too bad. And that's always an issue here in Missouri. If you get high humidity, then you're going to have um, the heat, was, heat index is going to rise. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to do the same thing with this. Stick it on. Try to get it on there a little bit better. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now we've got these. And next thing you want to do is decorate these papers with ephemera. Uh, let's see, for this one, I think I picked out. I'm gonna put this mermaid, she's a sticker, so we're gonna take her, peel off the sticky. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, you will need some, a little bit of art glitter glue. I like to reinforce all my stickers with a little bit of glue, so we're gonna put some of that on there. Lay her on there. I'm going to put her close to the bottom because when we get this all laminated, we're going to be trimming some of this off the top to give us opening in the pouch. Now, let's see. We've got that on the front, on the back. Got this. Well, kind of looks like a, a sea urchin with legs. I'm not sure what it is. All right. This one is not a sticker, so we're going to add our glue. And again, I'm going to try to place that somewhat toward the bottom at an angle, so I'll have room to trim off the top. Then I'm going to take um, some little stickers. I think I'm going to put... Um, Put this little seashell on there. That looks good. I think I want to take some of these little bubbles. I want these little bubbles. And get them off. They're on there. There we go. Not cut very well. Oh, that one's attached to that. That's why. Get this one. Put some little bubbles up there. And there's another little bubble here. Well, we're going to be cutting now. Let's put it down here. We've got it turned a little bit. Well, it's just going to have to be that way. That's okay. All right. Actually, I'm going to take that off like it's sticking up like that. Let's try another one. Alright, we'll be a little more careful with this one. There you go. Okay, so we've got that over here. Let's add starfish. I just love these colors on here. I think they're so cute. And little girls, they love mermaids. They're going to just love this paper. Put some bubbles here. And I think that's good. Okay, this one, we're going to go ahead and slide it inside our little cello pouch. Just slide it inside. I'm going to lay that aside. I'm going to decorate the other one. And 
this is a sticker. So we're going to peel off the sticker. Add our glitter glue. Again, kind of keeping toward the bottom. This is here. That's good. And her side, let's add. Hmm, I like this little shell down here. It looks like an oyster with a pearl. Pretty. And then up here, what could we put? There's one more little bubble. Little bubble. And I think that's enough for that. Turn it over. We have another one of those sea urchin legs. <laughs> Maybe sea urchins have legs. I don't know if I've ever seen one with them, but I don't know if I've really seen a live sea urchin. Okay, put this at an angle, leaving some room at the top to trim. Get that laminated. Good enough. All right, so what do we want to put on there? Um, here's a little seahorse. I'm not sure that'll fit. Let's try it. I'm going to go right up here. It's getting it close, isn't it? No, let's go up here. Because Sequins and things have a tendency to flow to the bottom. So we'll put our seahorse there. I'm not sure we have any more bubbles. I think these are all attached. There's one teeny tiny. Oh, I can't get it. So anyway, that's fine. Looks good. So we'll do the same thing here. We're going to take this and slide inside of our cello patch. And here, like so. So we've got this and this. Now we're going to take our strips. And I'm going to run some of this adhesive. Down the strip. Might need two. Now these scales are going to be going down, so I'm going to try to get these lined up. Okay, let's put this to the top. It's always so tricky to try to get things perfect. It's almost better sometimes to make something like this a little larger. And then after you get it stuck together, cut it. Let's see what we can do here. But since this is the first time I've done this, I didn't think of that. Next time, maybe I will. All right, come off of there. Let's roll this down best we can, keeping it covering. There we go, a little bit off. Okay, that one stuck together like so. I'm going to do that to this one. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my laminator so I can start heating up. Okay, let's make one strip down here. One strip. 
after it. And let's go back and try to get this end a little better. There we go. I'll take this to the top. And try to line it up. Lay it down. And again, we're going to bring it down. Keep it on the edge. There we go. And this will go on this side. Now we're ready. To get the laminating pouch, I'm going to put up this pin in my art glitter glue. I love my art glitter glue, but I tell you, I have to guard that pin. Because if you lose it, and we all know, if we use another pin in there, it's going to get really rusty and yucky. So what I did, I went to, where was I? Oh, it was at Joann's, and I got... Uh, a whole pack of those pins, so I don't have to worry about losing my pen. Grabbing my laminating sheet over here. Okay, I'm going to open this up. And like I said, I haven't done this before, so we're kind of try this together and just see how it happens. I like to line this up on my mat so I can have it straight because I want this to be as straight as I can. And I'm going to take this and I already kind of pre-marked my corners of where I wanted them to be and I'm going to lay these down. And what I want to do is, when I lay this little strip here, I want it to be just about a fourth of an inch from the decorated pouch. So I'm going to lay it about right here. And this be about right here. You want to keep them straight because when we trim off the top, oh, there we go. So when you've got that lined up, and you've got about a fourth of an inch between them, then you're going to lay the other pouch on here. And you want about a half inch between this and where you lay your next pouch. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't want this one over here. We want this one like this because we want these little decorative strips to be on the outside, not the inside. So we lay this about like so. Okay, this like so. And I could think this might be a little tricky trying to get this in the laminator without anything moving around. But we'll see. And then we're going to lay this one on this edge. And we only want about a quarter of an inch. between this and this. This. I'm gonna 
push this in a little more. I want it over here. Side there as much as it can be. There we go. like this. Alright, now I'm going to try to fold this over very carefully. Okay, it goes like that. This is like this. I don't know if you can see that, but I did pre-lay this and kind of made pencil marks where I wanted them to go to make sure I could keep this at about a fourth inch. And these apart for about a half an inch. The same over here. Alright, here we go. And if we get it crooked this time, we'll know next time to hold it different or something. It doesn't look quite straight up here. I'm not sure which one needs to move. What's this? Down, get this in. This and that little measurement, a little bit out. Looks pretty good. Right, look down just a little bit over here. Okay, now my laminator's ready. I can't get it totally in the frame. My cord's not quite long enough, but you can see right in here, there's my laminator. And I'm going to try to be very very careful. Load this. So nothing moves. And I hope I'm not getting in the camera, but here we go. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, well, that's coming all the way back through. I'm gonna grab my paper trimmer. Oh, I've got a kitty cat wanting to get in the middle of this. This isn't a good time, Lexi. This isn't a good time. And I'm going to run that back through again just to make sure it goes through there. I can see where it's off a little bit, but we'll see. And these, I hope, weren't too thick to get a good laminated surface. I know the stickers work better than any of the chipboardy like pieces but we'll see now to trim I think I'm going to trim around it before I cut the tops off There we go. All right, we'll turn that off. Scoot that out of the way. It's over here. Okay. Let's see what we got. Well, it doesn't look too bad. And this way. Cute, cute. 
Now this is the part we'll be cutting off. So I'm gonna save that to last. I'm gonna go down these sides. Again, put it in and I try to line it up right where the cutting tool will go. And this might make it a little bit more because this is a little thicker and I don't want it to pull apart. You can always trim it down more, but you can't put it back. Now we're gonna come over here. This isn't totally straight, but I think it will work. You know, that's why it's called crafting and we're not perfect. But it looks pretty good. Here we go. Now let's move out just a little. Cut that off. Now, if we did this the way I planned for it to work, we're going to cut this off and we're going to be able to put sequins on either side of where we put the cello uh, wrapping around the piece of paper. So let's see if we succeeded or if I succeeded or if not. Okay, we're going to take about a quarter of an inch. I'm going to line it up with this little piece right here. That little line right there looks like about a quarter of an inch to me. No, we got to go up. I'm going to take it to here. There we go. That line, yeah. Alright, we need a drum roll. Here we go. Well, we did it. Now let's see what happens. Did it go all the way through? Ah, it did. Okay. Let's see if it happens what's supposed to happen. Okay, look, 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 look. It laminated to the clear cello bag, and we've got a pocket to put our glitter and stuff. Yay! Okay. Oh, it makes me happy when things work, especially if I'm doing it in front of a lot of people. So that worked. Now we can add our little goodies. And the last one I made, I will show you that after we complete this one. I think I got too many in there, believe it or not. You'd think you can't get too many in there, but I think I did. Okay, on this side, we're going to add some, here's some like little mermaids. Take a spoonful of those and dump those in. Spoonful of these. And I can't remember where I got these. Knowing me, where I shop, it was probably Hobby Lobby. I can't say for sure. Okay, we're going to put those in. I, over here, would like purple. Here's some little purple beads. Put some of those in. And I also think with the gold over here, I want to put some gold in there. Ooh, that's looking pretty. Now, what else might I put? Mm, I don't really have a turquoisey color, but I've got a little bit of blue. I'm gonna put a little bit of these blue little glittery things in there. Oh yeah, that looks pretty. Same thing over here. I'm gonna add some of these. Little purple beads, some of the blue beads, and some gold. And I think that's it. Pretty. I just saw these pop out. I hope they didn't pop out somewhere. Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm going to flip it over. Oh, here we go. We're going to put some of these little hot pink ones in here. 
And in here. Oh, we definitely green in these girls. Oh yeah, we gotta put some green in there. See, the reason I added to the spine and made my cover bigger than the other one, as you can see, these can get pretty thick. Okay, we need to put some mermaids in there. Some mermaids in here. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Blue. Let's go with these little blue hearts. Some blue hearts. And maybe some of these little gems. Okay, I think that's enough. Oh, those look so cute. I'm going to close these up because that would just be an awful mess if I dumped all those. Or my cat, little Lexi. Oh, I think those look so good. Almost done. Pretty, pretty. So now what she did is you're going to take, she took uh, plain tape. You want it, you know, long enough to make sure you're going to get across it. And to seal it well at the top. Well, my goodness. That wasn't good. Ah. To seal this well at the top. <laughs> you're going to, you want it to be fairly flat. So I'm going to come into the center. And you want it so when you put it down, you're going to leave room between this and the next fold that the only the tape will stick to the tape. That helps hold it in place. Okay, we're gonna take this all the way down. Boy, I hit that pretty good on that end, didn't I? And then we're gonna flip it over. When you fold this, you don't wanna bend it with a clean fold on this edge. You wanna pull it over so some of this tape adheres to the tape on the other side. So you're going to pull it like so. And make sure that sticks to tape above your edge. There you go. I can see that's working. And pull this. Yes, this inspiration, again, came from Christy Tomlinson, and I just think this is a clever, clever idea. I'm going to seal that really well. Then you just nip off the extra. We didn't have extra over there. And then you're going to take washi. Oh, there's my kitty. This is Lexi. Lexi, you can't eat those. No, 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 no. I better get these out of the way. She has a tendency to want to eat things that she shouldn't. And I have to really watch her. She's about mm, two and a half years old. So I have to keep things out of her reach. Now I need you to move over, sweetie. There you go. This tape, I went with the, it's kind of a purple. It's that chevron. But I think that will look nice up there. So we're going to do the same. I'm going to go farther and this time you're going to fold it right on the edge. This is pretty sticky. And if you thought yours wasn't very sticky, uh, you could always put the glue. Oh, got scissors in my gloves. Actually, I'm going to come down a little. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, you don't fold this at all. The way she sealed it. You just put these at the top because you've got your seal on the tape. So these you just want to line up evenly across the top the best you can. I always do this and I feel like I'm upside down. That's good enough. 
peel that off, turn it over, line it up again. I'm going to turn it this way. I can just see it better. And I'm going to align this with that one. Trim those edges. didn't get it you know right to that edge but this is my first one I'll watch a little more carefully next time and I can also <clears throat> see now that when I'm placing things on here I need to also keep in mind that anything you put on there the washi tape is going to come down and might cover that up now we're ready to put it in our journal so let's take our journal and I was thinking, got this folder here. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna put this folder inside of this. And I uh, made this half inch here because I think that will give it room to um, put that into the spine and, and you're still able to see all your stuff. I'm gonna shake these up a little bit. something out of my folder. I'm going to put this back in here into our elastic. And let's see what we've got. Yeah, that fits in there nicely. Yeah. Really nice. Okay. Again, we've got our folders, our journal. And there's your shaker. Isn't that cute? And we've got another folder, and then there's the other side of your shaker. Now, you can rearrange that, you know, and put it anywhere in your journal that you like. But I am really happy with that. I think it turned out well. So, thank you for joining me. And uh, if you liked it, please like and subscribe and leave any comments down below. And I will try to get back with you. Thank you. See you later. Bye-bye.